more sympathetic to someone joining Cerberus. You've never been big on aliens. Yeah, I enlisted to kick ass, just like everyone else. But I need a better reason than it has scales to go kill somebody. And if Cerberus is taking our dishonorable discharges and Cat-6 washouts, it's just one more reason they're not worth a damn. Glad you talked Samara down. I never thought I'd see her flinch from her duty. I don't know. On one hand, that code's all she's had to live by for, God, centuries. Then the galaxy goes to hell. The old rules don't cut it anymore. I mean, we're cutting some corners, right? A few. Well, the Alliance can always court-martial us after we save the galaxy. Commander? What are you doing, Edie? Monitoring reports of proton storms and other space weather. With the Reapers attacking the comm buoy systems, critical warnings may be lost. How bad are these storms? If we are warned, not bad. If we are not warned, very bad. Thanks for the info, Edie. Hello, Shepard. Unread messages at your private terminal, Commander. The Crucible Project received some new tech from the Asari government. I'm glad they've decided to help the war effort. Everybody has to fight now, no matter how pretty you are. <laughs> I learned that the hard way. Commander? Next time you blow up a monastery, let me know you've left the premises, okay? I worry about you. Everything is in order. Hey. Hey. to keep everything at a distance. Exactly. Wait, what? Creepiest thing we fought. The Thorian. But wait, what did you mean? I didn't mean anything. I'm going with the Rachni. The Queen? But we didn't fight her either time. No, the little ones. They look like spiders and they scuttle right toward you. I thought you liked it when things got up close and personal. I guess it depends on who it is. Hey, Commander. I dug out some letters my youngest sister wrote when she was in high school. She was... having a hard time. Teen drama and all that. Just needed her big sis. I guess with everything that happened down there, I just wanted to read them again. You sure make some unusual friends, Shepard. That is not a side of the Asari I ever want to see. Shepard? Excellent. 
find, Commander. The information network terminal has been updated. Poor Rila. But I'm glad she set off that bomb, Shepard. You're not upset the monastery was destroyed? No. Not after what I saw. I don't care that they were Ardat Yakshi. To be turned into such creatures, nobody deserves that. It's good to see you. Everybody was fighting the Rachni, trying to push them back through the relay. Finally, the Krogan were turned loose and stopped them. I see. But when the Krogan rebelled, we had to deploy the Genophage to stop them. Wasn't the only rebellion. A thousand years later, the Geth revolted against the Quarians. That was a whole other war. Then along came the humans. My own people tangled with them for a while, and now, to top it all off, we've got the Reapers. What about you? The Ouroboros fought the Densorin. The Andoromai conquered the Vanduma. And the Jatil turned against the Jar. So, I guess nobody really ever gets their act together. The Sinriel claimed to have found the path to eternal peace. What happened? The Ditika preferred war and wiped them out. I hope you guys had alcohol. Some of the crew seem shocked by the monstrosities we have encountered. They haven't seen what the Reapers could corrupt after a hundred years. That was our war. Every battle conjured a new nightmare. This human holds such childish views of war. Your species has much to learn. Commander. Samara is the kind of soldier we need in this war. Nothing gets in her way. I just hope I'm not in her way someday. That woman means business. Now it's a mutated Asari. The Reapers are just a giant nightmare factory that never ends. I can only imagine what the Reapers are doing to the Drell. Or the Hanar. Or the Vorcha. This could get a lot worse before it gets better. Another time, maybe. Commander. It's a brilliant tactic, when you think about it. But it's evil. When has that ever mattered in war? Yeah, but converting other life forms into Reapers? I, I can't wrap my head around that. Makes sense to me. It ensures you never run out of cannon fodder, eliminates any local resistance, and for every soldier you add, your enemy loses two, the one you converted, and his buddy on the other side who can't pull the trigger on a friend. You sound like you admire them. Same way I admire a virus or a thresher maw. They've adapted perfectly to their situation. But the Reapers want to destroy us. And I have no intention of letting them. But if you don't respect your enemy's capabilities, you're in for one nasty surprise after another. You're cleared to dock, Normandy. Do you need ground transport? I'll handle it. Navigation is becoming increasingly difficult due to the number of refugee ships in the docking area. I recovered Prothean data drives from Garbug. I'll have them brought here. Commander Shepard. Thank you. I'm sure that'll help with uh, any operation we have going. Thank you again, Commander. I appreciate the assist. I'd like to request a transfer to a zone with Reaper, Sergeant. And may I ask why you think your deployment deserves special treatment, Private? I think I'll do better against the Reapers than Cerberus, ma'am. 
And what combat experience against Reapers are you basing this on? Um, none, ma'am. <laughs> Outstanding. Shepard, if you're feeling up to it, I thought we could do something fun for a change. Shepard, glad you came. What'd you have in mind? Something that doesn't involve fighting Reapers. That's hard to find these days. I suppose we could catch a Hanar poetry reading. Uh, no offense, but if the end of the galaxy is coming, I'm not going out on the phrase. This one feels like a flower. So? So, I had an idea. Where are we going? Somewhere we're not supposed to. Some things never change, do they? Ever have that one thing you always wanted to do before you died, Shepard? Too busy trying to live. What's yours? The whole time I worked at CSEC, I'd stare up at the top of the Presidium and say to myself, I want to go up there. But I never did. There were 137 regulations telling me I couldn't. So you got them changed? No. Now I just don't give a damn. <laughs> I figured it's time to do something stupid just for the hell of it. Might be the last chance we ever get. A little busier than I imagined. How about a dive in the pool? You obviously haven't seen Turian swim. It's a lot of flailing and splashing interrupted by occasional bouts of drowning. Yeah, you're right. I just have to save your ass again. It'd make up for all the times I pulled your ass out of the fire. Novaria, Pharos, Ilos. We've had a hell of a ride, haven't we, Shepard? I think that ride's been rough on you, Garrus. You get a new scar every time I see you. Losing a step there in your old age? <laughs> Raise your hand if you haven't been killed before. Touché. Now, before we head back, there is one thing we're going to settle. Once and for all. I'm not saying you don't know how to handle a gun, just saying some of us know how to make it dance. So, let's find out who's really the best shot. There are a few people in the galaxy who've seen me in action, Garrus. They seemed impressed. Yeah, but I've actually seen you dance, Shepard. No comment. All right, Vicarian, you're going down. And don't worry, I loaded it with practice lugs for when you miss. That was an easy one. Let you build up your confidence. Long range, I wrote the book. Nobody alive can do this, not even Commander Shepard. Give me a tough one. <laughs> I said a tough one. Step aside. Do it. I'm Garrus Vicarian, and this is now my favorite spot on the Citadel. It's windy up here. Think I'm going to erect a monument right here. Bronze this gun so the whole galaxy knows. That you're the king of the bottle shooters. Glad you're around, Garrus. Never know when the bottles might revolt. <laughs> Sergeant, I have a little brother. He went off planet to try and make money, hung with a lousy crowd. A week before the Reapers, my brother sent me this excited message. He'd found an organization with lots of pay, benefits. He snuck me a photo of the shiny new armor they gave him. White and yellow armor, ma'am.
inspector status recognized. Please select One it. moment, please. Now arriving at Presidium Embassy. Hell of a view, isn't it? During our war, this place became a myth to my people. A dream glimpsed only in the memory shards. The Citadel was both the heart of our civilization and its demise. The Reapers hid here first, didn't they? No one I knew had ever seen the Citadel. To be here now, I don't know what to think. It might not seem like much, but a Prothean is standing on the Citadel alive. That's a victory in itself. Perhaps. When things were at their darkest, we used to tell stories, imagining the wonders of this place. The seat of our empire. The power to sway worlds. The galaxy belonged to us. Nowadays, a lot of races have embassies here. It's true, then. You share power with the rest? It's not perfect, but it's kept the peace. Most of the time. Pardon me. This one has been listening. This one suspects you are a Prothean. Hey, Hannah. I remember your kind when you were still minnows in the ocean. This one is unworthy. This one has seen the face of an Enkindler. They consider your kind to be their gods. A pity we did not teach them to speak better. You're really a Prothean? I am. But... If you lost the last war, what hope do we have? For many, there may be no hope. The Reapers killed trillions in my cycle. The odds of being among the living are remote. Um, I don't think that's gonna work. But you are still alive now. That alone is a miracle. And you still have the power to fight. My people knew your kind when you were young. Torian, Asari, Hana. There was potential in all of you. Now you must seize that potential and become the weapon you are meant to be. The weapon that tells the Reapers we are not machines. We are alive and we will fight back. Thank you. That meant a lot. Commander Shepard. It must be an honor to have a Prothean fighting alongside you. I'm just glad he's on our side. You haven't seen him get angry. Neither have you, Commander. Thank you, Commander. I've enjoyed my time here, walking among the young. I will see you back on the Normandy. I hoped you'd come. I won't remain here much longer. What are you doing on the Citadel, Samara? I suppose I came to say goodbye. Faler is safe, and Rila is at rest. I felt the need to speak to you before heading to battle. I want you to know there is no one else I'd rather see leading us in our last hours. These aren't our last hours. I'm fighting this war to win it. No doubt. But you can't deny that the galaxy will be forever changed once it ends. Even I can predict how. A little humbling. But perhaps that's a good thing. You know, I never asked you if your code has anything useful on fighting Reapers. Treat them as any other enemy. Show no quarter, mercy, or weakness. The only difference is the scale of our foe. The code is too strict to account for such... small discrepancies. Is that how you see it too? An odd question. Coming from the Spectre who killed her third Reaper on Rannach. What are the other Justicars doing for the war? Most have made it home. They will attempt to hold Thessia. With the odds we face, 
It's possible our order will no longer exist after this war. There's that few of you? Our numbers were never great. We must prepare to sacrifice ourselves, if that is what's required. Was being a Justicar worth it, if that's how it all ends? The Justicars were formed to bring order to a world that laughs at the notion. The role is solitary. Its demands are lonely and uncompromising, often to the point of pain. But... Following the code left me with no regrets. Take that for what you will. Will Falaire be all right in the monastery? Or what's left of it? We spoke for some time. It won't be easy. But if there is a way to survive, Falaire will find it. It was... good to see her again. Perhaps it's unseemly for a Justicar to dwell so much on her family. I'm just happy things worked out. I was fortunate that Falaire saw things so clearly. And it would have turned out quite differently without your intervention. Thank you. Good luck out there, Samara. You as well. I don't know if you believe in such things. But Goddess, go with you, Shepard. We'll both be tested in fire, soon enough. Hello again, Shepard. Goodbye, Samara. Farewell, Shepard. With the Elkhorn world taken by Reaper. Urgently, human, I must speak to you on behalf of my people. What is it? Holding sorrow, Dakuna, my home world, the Reapers have come. Holding sorrow, our warriors are under siege, but your forces can rescue them. Urgently, please, all the other races have turned us aside. How do your people fight? Proudly, with BI-assisted infantry. Our soldiers carry heavy weapons into battle mounted on their backs. Mixed pride and shame, our enemies have called us living tanks, as well as names less flattering. I'll take the Normandy as soon as we have time. Relief. Thank you, Commander. Small hope. Perhaps we can evacuate some of our civilians when your forces arrive. Anxiously, I will remain here for news. Please hurry. Dakuna burns. Broken forces reported heavy casualties and destroying Reapers. Excuse me. I'm Commander Shepard. If you promise to be careful, I've got something for you. A Reaper code fragment? Yes, I can use this to try to predict their strategic processes. We might be able to save a few worlds with this, Commander. Thank you. No, I know what I said. Divert forces to the new coordinates. Trust me. We may not be able to stop the Reapers, but I think we can predict their movements now. No, I know what I said. Divert forces to the Trust me. Perhaps you could send the girl to your side of the family. Are you kidding? My family disowned me when I married Neota. Wanna guess why? Oh, my. They'd be happier to see those Cerberus assholes than they would be to see me. I understand why you would not wish to send your daughter to them. Yeah, well. Your understanding doesn't help me or my daughter much right now. Good to see you're all right, Shepard. Miranda, what's going on? Couldn't meet in person. The Citadel is too dangerous right now. I heard about the attempted coup. Yeah, with Kai Lang's help, Udina nearly seized control. Kai Lang? That slippery bastard's still alive? He's alive and right in the middle of all this. That complicates things. I'll be on my guard. Look, I don't have much time, but I learned what happened to my sister. 
Where is she? I don't know that yet, but my father was definitely responsible. If he's done anything to her, I'll kill him. Miranda. Shepard, listen. I'm being hunted by Cerberus assassins, a lot of them. I need to stay out of sight. What? Why? I heard a rumor, maybe more, that my father is working on something for the elusive man. Something big. Why would your father be working with the elusive man? Especially now. My father is ruthless about preserving his legacy. Legacy? He has an obsession with making his mark in history. Ensuring his dynasty lasts forever. And you think the elusive man made him an offer? Exactly. I wish I could help, but too many lives are depending on me. I know. I'm not asking for your help. I need to do this myself. It's time I stopped running from him. Okay. Keep me posted. I will. I want all remaining files secured and marked for Tentron clearance only. Commander Shepard, thank you for coming. Did you find something? The Council has ordered a full review into Donal Udina's activities. We're still piecing together his coup attempt. But that isn't why I asked you here. The situation is growing urgent for my people. We're aware your Crucible is still missing a key component. The Catalyst. Do you know something? Not exactly, but there is a artifact on our homeworld, Thessia, known only to highest levels of my government. What is it? With any luck, it's a means to help you locate the catalyst. The artifact is kept in a temple located at these coordinates. I've ordered a scientific team to meet you there. If this artifact is so important, why keep it hidden? Every species in the Citadel has its secrets, Commander. But this one, in the wrong hands, would upset the balance of galactic power. The Reapers are doing that right now. Which is why I'm bringing this to you. Why the sudden cooperation? The Reapers' progress has changed everything. The Matriarchs are growing desperate. For the first time in our history, Thessia is vulnerable. For all our intellect, we're outmatched by Reaper firepower. I'll do what I can. Whether you know it or not, you've become the sole ray of hope in a very dark night. Goddess be with you. <laughs> 